Hey guys, so I'm gonna try not to cry through this one because you know we always talk about being in the right place at the right time. Right? Yeah. And uh, you know, some of us are walking around and um, going up to random people and, and I've never met this gentleman before. His name is Paolo and he's from New Jersey. So New Jersey. He's been in this business for about two and a half months and I was figuring out just in conversation what I was going to ask him. So the first thing I said was, is this your first event? And he said, no, my first event was in Washington, D.C. And because of you, I am here. So then, even though I was wrong still, then I just, I just couldn't stop him. You know, uh, just joy to my heart. So I'm just going to let him talk about what I said, I guess, in D.C. that made you and your wife and your friends say, we have to be in Orlando. And everything else you share just moved me. Absolutely. What's up, everybody? Um, so, we, me and my wife and my actually my best friend, we, we went to the Washington D.C. event and when Laura was up there, she just killed it, man. And one of the things that she mentioned was, she said, you know, so many people out there are making decisions based on their bank account, based on how much money they have. And, and, and this is what I mean because we have to liberate ourselves from the grip of money. So at that moment, we looked at each other and said, when she said, you know, you have to start making decisions based on what's, what's on your heart. And at that very moment, me and my wife, we looked at each other and we said, you know what, we're going to do whatever it takes to, to be in Orlando, and to be in Orlando, and to bring as many people as we can. And then God placed in our heart 10 people. And we said, you know, because I, we got to look at her, and I said, man, never in my life I've ever seen a place like this. You would think Jesus is up in here, the way miracles are happening. That's how much the events would be on. That's how much the airfare would be. And we said, we're going to do whatever it takes to get these 10 people. So we began to start calling into existence. We began to start calling these people. We began to start telling them that we were going to take them. We even began to start doing conference calls and saying, look, we're going to get you out there. We're going to fly you out there. And we didn't hit the goal. But something that Justin Verrett said yesterday, he said, you know, when you set goals bigger than yourself, it, it's not about accomplishing the goals, but it's because it's through the process that you become so, so much bigger, it's the growth. And we didn't get the 10 people, but what we did, we planted a seed, and, and in doing so, we just got so many things accomplished, and we did whatever it took. I mean, we, we almost sold our cat, and I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> so there's cat numbers out there, I'm just playing, I love cats. Uh, but, but, but seriously, uh, we began to start selling our furniture, and this is a little weird, but I, I'm a collector, I collect silver, right? And you know, that was a hard thing to say because, um, because you know, I'm willing to sell whatever it takes. And when people say, oh, you're like, you're homeless, you're crazy, in my mind, I kind of laugh because I still have like silver, you know? And at that very moment, we had to kind of pawn the silver because we knew that, you know, one thing I learned is that whenever you, whenever you have to give something of yourself, you have to give a piece of yourself, whether it's in money, whether it's in materialistic things, or whether it's, you know, whether it's your time, and we knew we had to do whatever it takes. And in doing so, we didn't raise the 10K, but we learned and we, de we developed a backbone. We, de we, we, developed, we developed something we would have never developed if we would have not decided to set a goal bigger than, than ourselves, bigger than what we would ever thought. And in doing so, I, my wife is there, I love her to death. Uh, we brought, my, it was me, my wife, and my friend are here, and to be honest with you, God is so good because we were going to sleep in our car, and then there's a lady I have to give recognition, her name is Dee Dee. You know, she just looked at my wife, she didn't even ask her, but she gave us a place to stay, man. She gave us a place to stay, and that's the reason why I love you, Paul Network.